All right, day 11. And the final day of my tour to Bruce. Heading home to Hamilton. Leaving Westmont Rose Campground. Let's get her done. All right, back on the G2G trail for 15 kilometers into Guelph. You know, I'm not even looking at my odometer anymore. I know my route home and uh, this is the last day so I'm, I'm going to enjoy my ride. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning. I think I left at 8.45. Well, it's probably quarter after 9 by now. But yeah, I'm going to enjoy this, conserve as much energy as I can for the big hills. And uh, I don't know, enjoy the rest of this day. Morning. This is supposed to be uh, an 80 kilometer day, and it's supposed to take me 10 hours from past experience, 10 hours. Yesterday was a 91 kilometer day and it only took me nine hours. So the difference being there's a lot of hill walking. So yeah, today is a long day, 10 hours. Factoring in all the stops I make. But the line between Guelph and Hamilton is generally busy. And rarely I have a shoulder, so. Yeah, one more day of fun. And the cool thing is, is that if the wind is still going in the direction I think it's going, it'll be right at my back all the way. So, well, so far this morning, there's no wind. You don't really notice any wind until about 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. And then the wind starts picking up from whatever direction. So, until then, enjoying this beautiful morning. Well, this ought to be interesting.
this might not be so great depending how thick the dirt is I think I might get on the tire track here that might help a little bouncy okay get off gee okay that took a little energy I'm at the uh, trailhead of the G2G trail. This marks the end of any trail riding for the rest of the day. I want to thank this trail for getting me safely across the province of Lake Huron. Morning. It's been a blast to see the entire 127 kilometers, 130, I don't know what it is actually. It says 125 to Goderich here, but the other sign says it's still 7 kilometers to Guelph. Now I think the trail picks up here, but it's not really the G2G. I don't know what it is and I don't want to get on it because I don't know where it goes and when I get off the trail I won't know where I am. So. It's pavement riding from here on out in the more populated areas of this trip. So it just means now that I gotta stay alert, gotta check my mirrors, pay attention to what's going on. So, thank you G2G, it's been a blast. Thank you. Okay, I am now on the, uh, the east side of Guelph. Started out on the west side. And I'm at the corner of Woodlawn and Victoria. This street here, I'll be on the rest of the day. Victoria Street will take me out of Guelph. It'll eventually become Centerline Road leading into Waterdown, where I will get on Snake Road and enjoy the downhill straight into Hamilton. So, I think about 60 kilometers to go. Still heavy traffic. Bike lanes on and off. But gotta do what you gotta do. Ah, the wilderness. kind of strange. The bike lanes just keep popping in and popping out, popping in, popping out. It's almost like every block it's one or the other.
So, leaving Guelph. Uh, nothing about farmland and uh, rolling hills. It looks like I've got 54 kilometers left in this trip. Gotta go. Rolling Hills best describes this part of the day. You know what? It's hills like this that make me happy. I'm gonna enjoy this. Okay, um, 40 kilometers in, should be about maybe 39 to go. Uh, 40, maybe. But uh, places of interest, 10 kilometers from here is Carlisle. And 25 is water down. And that's where I descend the Niagara Escarpment. Getting there. Cool.
It is break time. 53 kilometers in. 26 to go. 27. Ah, who's counting now? One giant hill for mankind. One smaller hill just for kicks. Cool. Water down! Woohoo! Was wicked, man. <laughs> All right, you've seen me come up Snake Road. Now you're gonna watch me go down. If your couch has a seatbelt or your office chair has a seatbelt, you better strap them on. Ah, darn car. So much for that run. Ah, uh, you know what? New asphalt, it might be a little slippery in this heat. That was awesome.
right behind me, the city of Hamilton. I've completed the tour to Bruce. Now it's just about nine kilometers into town to my place. So. Woo! Rock and roll. I'm home. So I am now 70 kilometers in. My legs feel like they did when I got up this morning. Unbelievable, I feel great. I don't feel like I've done anything today. I have arrived in Hamilton and this will conclude the 2023 Tour de Bruce adventure. <laughs>